Oh boy, come on, can you please give me some? <laughs> That's good, but... So this past few fishing events, I'm actually using the flower of truth. Oh hey, nice. Now give me good loot, please. I'm not sure, yeah, these guys are helping, which is actually pretty cool. So we already have 4.5, yeah. Okay. Yeah, just one world skin. Nice, so let's re equip our black hat and try to kill this. Oh no, <laughs> nothing good. current event you know what I'm just gonna kill it only one what the well I'm still not sure how they exactly work I would take a grim reaper just right about now a grim reaper Oh hey! <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. What the? Uh, thank you, my dude. Oh hey, thank you. Thank you for the help. Uh, more soul fragments. They're good enough. Thank you. No, not the squid. Oh, it's already... It's gonna start in a few minutes. Oh, so let's warp home. Faster, faster. Oh, the... And stash all of this here for now. Oh, no. So we're gonna change our wardrobe to the... Candid Bat Person Armor. Our pet to a legendary bat pet, and what we want to do is talk to this hub selector and try to find an empty one. Oh, 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 oh. No, one more. No, man, we're wasting time here. Oh. Hopefully, this person is not farming here. Oh, I guess he's not. Oh yeah, they're not. I probably wouldn't be hunting the bat. Since it's it takes far too much time compared to just continuously killing this spooky uh, normal mobs, yeah, normal mobs. This more nice, I guess. Something that should be fun. Shit, Derek should probably a bit better than this. Since things are so good, but join us. We're gonna focus on. Another thing, I hope the frozen site doesn't bug out on me and don't give me candy counts, which apparently happened before. I'm not sure if that was a one time bug or if by upgrading my candy bag to a candy sack would change anything. Hopefully, it doesn't because it's gonna be. <laughs> Pain. I really need to research or look up how, what's the best way to farm for candies because there's plenty of places you can actually try so one is yeah besides 
the one in the hub, which is well, the castle ruins for wolves and this crypt for creep ghouls. We can also try the end, which has plenty of endermen. Another one is in the spider den, but I personally think that it's not great to farm there because not only there's plenty of people, you're gonna also gonna miss some trick or treat boxes if you both spam the area. So it's better to stick in places or stick to mobs that you can easily access. Yeah, access without jumping far too much. Oh hey, maybe next time I'm gonna check out other areas to farm mobs in. So compared to when the spooky update was first released, the most recent update to the spooky festival introduced a couple more mobs that you can farm besides just farming the normal mobs to get their candy drops. So let's try to see them since we've already accomplished our 2400 points goal anyway. And try to... Uh, kill them off <laughs> to put it mildly I guess Let, let's hunt some candy oh that lag so now nah, so this guy is a scary Jerry so compared to so before they fix the Thunderlords patch you can actually three shot them since when the Thunderlord procs it gives you an instant kill but now you need to hit them with the same amount of HP that they have no I don't want to deal with that so trick or treaters have multiple skins but just treat them as normal annoying baby zombies oh nice trick or treat bag oh. and as for the oh These guys are actually pretty interesting since they copy the guys or they copy whoever they hit. At first they're phantom spirits and when they hit you, yeah, they copy your character's look. Wait, am I saying it right? And as for the more annoying ones such as this crazy witch which keeps summoning some bats to deal long range damage they're pretty easy in some way see and as for the wither cords they you drop lasso lanterns which you deal huge amounts of damage against spooky mobs but it's the wait yeah <laughs> we got lost there. So those spirits actually drop some ectoplasms, making them pretty useful. As for wither gourds, I'm not sure if they drop the pumpkin guns. All I've ever seen is the lasso lanterns. Oh nice, this rates. So, f oh, the event ended. Too bad about that. Before we forget about it, let's actually try to compute. Hey, let's actually try to compute how much profit we can get. We did get in two hours of farming. So, first things first, let's check this one the fishing ones, right? So, right now. Okay, so besides the candy, which would give us, so a stack of purple is 300k already, and this guy is, okay, let's compute it, calculate the profit that we can get currently from the spooky mobs is 6.5. 
6.5 mil. <laughs> Pretty great, right? More so if we wait for a few days to sell off our stuff. And lastly, how much profit did we actually get from the spooky event itself? As for the spooky cupcake, now they are actually selling quite well since their are pet eyes. If we get the prizes for the event rewards, which is Okay, so I guess we also get roughly 6 million coins from the spooky festival. I guess if you count that, you get around 12 million coins by participating for 2 hours in the spooky event. It's not really that a boring grind compared to other money making methods since we have plenty of stuff to do. During the fishing, you can get multiple sea creatures that you don't usually fish outside of the spooky festival or spooky event. As for the spooky event itself, you can say that it's double purpose. You can farm for combat XP, right? Combat XP. Or, and you can farm for the candies as well, which more profit. You can say you're hitting two birds with one stone. So I guess that's it for now. Uh, thanks for hanging out, guys. If you, well, <laughs> for some reasons I get embarrassing, it, but if you like the content, make sure to follow. And that's it. Right, maybe I'll play for a little bit more and try to think of what to do next. Uh, thanks, one. Thanks, everyone. Bye.